Hello again. Well, I made a statement on Facebook that when I saw that side, I said, where do I start? But then I remembered the back end was open and the wood frame was ex exposed and the wood all appears to be real good shape pre-cut already drilled into place so I am just taking it off because it was just being held by some staples and I'll show them to you right now you can see the staples right there and then also right there and so these staples are too small you can also see them down there and so they were at every joint so what I did is I took this top there were some top pieces up in here I already took them off and they're right here where they go? oh there they are they're in the shade and what I have is I remove the staples and you can kind of see the staple marks yeah, you can see the staple marks but I ended up uh, you have a um, pocket hole jig and I am putting some pocket holes too and using those screws I think much better and I think it's going to come out much more rigid I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I like it I like using it and it's coming out just fine so here's my pocket hole jig the drill and then I use the uh, pocket hole type screws with a uh, square driver. Yeah, I think there's a special name for it, but uh, that's what I call them. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And probably a little more, uh, just so that I can uh, get to it and look at it a little bit better and see how this construction and then exactly find out if this piece of uh, plywood is supposed to be there because if it's so I have to replace the whole piece not just sections I and mean, I don't want to do sections so again that's what I'm going to be doing I'll show you progress as it comes along and I will talk to you guys later all right it's time for an update I well, we can see this but I have rebuilt the frame that was exposed and I've actually taken more of the skin off to expose more of it only because I wanted to see what was behind there and how bad it is. So as you can see, oops, right in here is pretty bad and it's eaten away. So unfortunately, I just can't cut this. I'm gonna have to replace this whole piece of plywood from the top all the way down to the bottom and then on the other side I'm probably gonna have to do the same only because I can see and you can see right there that there's pieces of the plywood on the other side missing as well so I'm probably gonna have to do that also so I needed to see how I could tie this in and I see how I'm gonna do it. And these pieces here have to be replaced and they actually have to go up. Let me back it up a little bit, right up in there. So this is looking up inside there. And uh, so from here up, it's good. And from here, this piece of wood down, I'm gonna be replacing. So that's the way it looks, and that's the way I'm gonna do it. Once I've got this, then I've got the back done, and I can close it up when I start getting the sides done. And remember that the top, this is considered a top piece because it's all comes from the roof, down the back and the front all one piece and it covers the sides and that way the water doesn't get in so again that'll be one of the things that I will be doing 
So again, I just wanted to start here. That's something that I knew I could do today and I am gonna continue doing it and I'll give you an update later on. Talk to you guys later. Oh, and as you can see, I didn't use, I did away with the staples. You can see the staples there. Let me zoom in on them. You can see I did away with the staples. And I'm using what they call a pocket, uh, pocket holes, pocket joints, whatever you want to call them with screws in them going right into the pieces here. And same with down there. In fact, I think you can see the, there, there are the screw heads right down in there. And they're working out nice because these things are in. Nothing's gonna, unless I get an accident, this thing's not gonna fall apart right or loose, I hope. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope it's helping you out. And uh, I will give you uh, one more update, I'm sure, before the uh, day is out and over. Bye. What you're gonna see is, I think, think is that I have the removal of this ready here. I got it all loose so I think I'm just gonna yank it off. Sometimes sometimes that's all you can do is yank things off. So there you go. Pick this up. Move out of the sun here. And that's what you saw. So what I have now is this wall here and I'll be able to replace the plywood. I'll be able to replace the plywood and get it into those beams there and hopefully everything will be good let's take a closer look here so there you go so this part right here because this is the bathroom this is a raised floor and it's a raised floor for a couple of reasons so that you can get a tank underneath a little larger tank and also have room for your plumbing so they raise the floor so if you'll, if I were to show you the other space, let me move that, so you can see the difference between that's the actual floor of the rest of the uh, trailer, and you can see the raised floor here. Now this does not have a tank underneath, but I'm going to utilize that space to put a tank underneath uh, because I am going to make this uh, better than before by putting a. Uh, Oh, a tank underneath and being able to have its own black tank. Uh, although a porta potty would be okay as well. But I think I'm gonna make it a little bit better where it's just gonna be a permanent toilet and toilet only. It's not gonna be a wet bath. I'm not gonna put any type of shower or anything like that. Now that pipe right there is for venting. And that's ventilation of the uh, heater and also uh, the fresh water tank, I believe. So, up in here, looks good. The wood inside there, let's see if I can get in there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that looks okay. That wire hanging down right there is the uh, running light for the side here, the side that the uh, paneling was on or the plywood was on. Everything looks good. Just a matter of getting that piece back up in there and then um, replacing uh, the look of that. You can see the inside, the inside of this wall. And I'll, re I'll make it just the same way, identical, trace it out on there, and that way uh, it works out okay. Works out just fine. 
Gotta make sure I get that little curved area right there. All right, well, that's what I wanted you to see. And I'll give you one more peek, I'm sure, a little later on. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is the way it ended for today. You saw me take the piece of plywood off in the back, exposing the bathroom. I'll show you something here. They had a, a platform in here with a bucket, a five gallon bucket underneath. Yet, underneath this metal tin is the actual flange for a toilet. And then I checked underneath, there's actually a pipe underneath this raised floor here, right there is a raised floor. Uh, there's an area there for a tank. So obviously they had the idea of putting a toilet in there with a black water tank. But I don't know what happened. So uh, anyways, I know I'm going to follow through with that. Put a black water tank in there. That way it'll go right into the toilet. I mean, right into the black tank from the toilet. And I'm going to put a, an actual toilet in there. No, no five gallon bucket. So. And then this, I removed all of this. And I don't know if you remember, but there was a piece of wood that went right along in there. It's all gone. So this is all loose, but uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to finish rebuilding the back end here. And that way, new paneling can be put in from the inside. And I'll take care of that at another date. But right now, this is in real good shape. So that's nice and sturdy and ready to uh, sustain some weight and I'm just looking at down in here basically what has to be done is wood replacement all this black especially right in here look I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna sink my finger watch I don't know if you can hear it but it's just just ridiculous it's just falling apart so Anyways, this is what I have to do and contend with. And that's generally what happens when you find some of these older vintage trailers. You know, you're getting them cheap. You're getting them cheap for a reason, you know, because uh, you have to investigate, find out, is there anything that needs to be replaced? And generally there is. So you don't get anything for free, as they tell you. So you got to put in a little work, a little money, and but uh, overall it'll be worth it. All right, guys, talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep on watching.